Go ahead. All right, Coach, when, when, when did this opportunity uh, kind of present itself and how did this come about? Well, uh, BTI, Basketball Travelers International, contacted Dr. Spear about when we were playing at Sacramento State, at Fort Hill State that, that weekend. And that's kind of where it started, um, you know, just an opportunity for our guys to, to take a foreign trip. And, and Nels Hawkinson's run Basketball Travelers. You remember that name, Nels? That's uh, Josh's dad, who, uh, who plays at Washington State. And so we were just able to put the trip together and it's obviously a great opportunity for us. Why, 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 why Idaho? Why do you think they? they got well, the one thing that they looked at was someone who had. They wanted a team for the Northwest first, and, and number two was is they looked at somebody who had a lot of returning players, and obviously we got that. What do you hope the team gains from the trip to China? Uh, a lot of good experience. Uh, you know, we're playing some really good teams, as, as you guys know, with uh, uh, some national level teams, some Olympic level teams. I, I think we're going to gain a lot of experience, play against a lot of. Good, good competition, and you know we're going to get a chance to bond. Uh, I think anytime you go to a foreign country, uh, you got to rely on each other because it's going to be different for us. Also, I, I think we'll, we'll, that's what we'll get: the experience and, and a chance to to bond with each other for 15 days. Well, you mentioned having a lot of returning players uh, across the country, hundreds and hundreds of D1 transfers. How was your team able to to avoid that? Great question. Uh, person, I guess. Uh, you know, we've only had one in two years, and if you think about that. That's, that's pretty good with, uh, I think there were 700 last year and 600 this year, or 600 plus. There's 1,300, we've only had one. So I guess we're ahead of the norm uh, right now. But uh, the one thing I, I really believe is we had a bunch of good guys who really care about the University of Idaho, care about each other. And, uh, you know, I think they enjoy playing with, them, with each other and wanted to make this one this year a special year. I think this is the first international trip you've been able to take to come here. Have there been other trips? you've been look, looking into, tried to do? Is... Yeah, the, the problem with these things is finances. And, and uh, this trip just, uh, when they contacted us, was a trip that we almost couldn't refuse. Uh, we've got a really good deal. They've cut us a really good deal uh, to go over there. Uh, we've been very fortunate. I've got a real uh, giving round ball club who's given a lot of money. And, and so we've been able to, to fundraise for most of the trip. Is there a lot of guys you, uh, that you had to help get? passports for the first time a lot of guys oh, we, we, yeah we had I think seven or eight that had to get passports and uh, then obviously everybody had to get a visa so um, yeah I think seven guys get passports for the first time and then Ark had to get his stuff uh, renewed so it, it's been quite a process new guy Trayvon what's it like having him out here on practice court well it's been great uh, you know he's been able to practice with us with us all eight practices he's, he's doing really good um, you know, kind of hard on him because it's last week of school. He he, he uh, practiced on Saturday morning, went to graduation Saturday night. But uh, it, it, he's a good player. We're, we're fortunate to have him in our program, and I'm really looking forward to watching him play in China. What was that phone call like with Sarbo when you got to tell him that he was going to be able to come on this trip? Oh, it was great. Yeah, I, I don't know what he said, but it, it was fun. Uh, you, you know, uh, it was. I thought it was a perfect situation for Chris to go. He, he's kind of undecided what he wants to do. He's not going to play. He might want to get into coaching. He might want to get into business. It just kind of was a perfect storm for Chris to be able to go. Yeah. Talk about the differences in the play from you know NCAA to international and how you've kind of worked through and taught some of that. Well, and uh, there's a number of differences. First of all, as you see our court out there, we got the wider lane, okay, the different length of the three-point line, and the difference in the shot clock. And as we've been practicing, those are big differences. Uh, what we've been trying to do ever since uh, you know we found out we were going, we got some international balls, we changed the lane, we changed the three-point line, and and we've been trying to play. Uh, according to FIBA rules. Uh, it's going to be fun to play in that system in, in, in the FIBA rules uh, throughout the tournament. I think it's going to be a great experience for our guys, not only this year and, and next year, but when they get a chance to go play overseas after their career. How, how has uh, scouting kind of changed for you guys? Um, you know, knowing the teams you're playing and the international, how do you go about getting ready? We haven't done a ton of it, uh, just to be honest with you. We, we've, we've gathered files and information on each guy, but we're kind of waiting until we get over there. Uh, because we don't know exactly who's going to be there. Uh, you know, like a Lithuania Olympic team. Is it their Olympic team? Is it a development team? We don't know. So we haven't done a lot as far as, um, you know, breaking down personnel at this point. We'll do that once we get there. See Ark kind of trying to get, get his shot down. Is it going to be exciting for a kid like that to play, you know, FIBA, a lot of, a lot of those European teams, that their big men kind of get out and shoot? Is that yeah. going to be good for him? Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be good for all of our big guys. And, you know, it's a chance for us to experiment with a few things. Um, and put guys in different positions and play, and play a little differently than we have just to see if it's something we want to incorporate next year. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, appreciate it. Appreciate you coming out.